be y'all. I'm back once again. Y'all, I'm on a roll today with these little bitty videos. Um, so I have blown my blown my hair dry, and I put a dime size amount of the CPR hair lotion when my hair was still a little damp, and I blew it dry, and it still moves. It's not stiff. So I am pleased with that. My hair is starting to look more and more healthy as I, you know, go through this. I don't want to call it a hair journey, but trying to do things different with my hair to see what works. So I'm now relaxing my hair every eight weeks and I try not to wash it a whole lot. So I try not to put a whole lot in it. But what I am putting in it is the leave-in conditioner. When my edges begin to get really, really nappy, I put, um, I spray it with the leave-in conditioner and I put a little beeswax on it to hold it down. So that's what I've been doing for the last week is using the beeswax. And then when it gets to where the beeswax is not totally holding it, I put a little bit of this. Now, once I start to put this in the beeswax in, I know I got to start washing my hair because that build up, baby, will be off glass. Do y'all hear me? So, this is where I am now, all relaxed, and I'm getting ready to braid my hair. I'm not going to do this all online, but I'm going to do maybe the first two braids. Now, what I'm going to put on my hair to kind of hold it in place, because right now it's just, you know, real sexy to me, <laughs> is this soft tea. It's called Softy Enriched with Shea Butter Daily Hairdress Mango Butter. Okay. Now, I purchased this from Dollar Tree a while back, and I have not been able to find it in Dollar Tree since. Um... And this is how much I have left. It's not real heavy. But it does the job. And it has a real fruity scent to it. So what I'm going to do is put it around where I'm getting ready to start my braid. And I'm going to use just a little tiny bit of gel, whatever is in the top. And I scooped it up with my comb, and that's all I need right here. And I'm just going to comb that through. Okay. There we go with that. So... These braids are not going to be small. Take a hair clip, clip that out of the way. Am I the only one that makes a mess in the bathroom when I'm doing something, whether it's my face or what? But I make some mess. I do. I make a true mess. So this is what I'm getting ready to braid, this little bit right here. So I got, this is, I bought this braid here out of Dollar, not Dollar Tree, Dollar General. 
and this is one pack so you see how thin that is so you know yeah I am going to it's not even but the majority of it I'm gonna take it now I got some hair that I've been using for a bun I will be unraveling those and using those as my hair to braid with so this is how thick it is and I am going to and I'm hoping I can grip this y'all with these long nails on so I split it in half like that so I have three pieces and I just take my finger around it like that and I'm just going to grab this little bit of hair and start to braid Now, my parts may not be straight, but this is my head, so uh, I'm fine with it. I know somebody might be like, ooh, child, who did her have Me. Go down a little further. And now I'm just going to put a little gel on my finger. Yeah, I got a little boo-boos right here. But I'll cut that off. And my nails are really catching this hair, so... I'll make it work for me. I'm not going to burn the ends. I'm going to put a rubber band on it. Y'all, I had lunch a little, a few minutes ago. I made me some egg salad sandwiches. Ooh, you talking about hit the spot. Yes. I was cooking with gas. Do y'all hear me? That that hit the spot. Mm, mm, mm. So, that is my braid, you guys. That's one of I don't know how many. So I'm going to keep going and I will be back with the finished product. Bye, sugar.